Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 guys. This is part number two of our Forza Horizon 4 videos. If you missed the first video, it will be linked down below and I highly suggest you check it out before because today we are starting up with our Ford Focus RS and jumping straight in to the dirt racing series. Up with some new tires. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. Ah, it's you. I heard about the stunts you pulled for Joel. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle the dirt. So yeah, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. As I was saying, this is part number two. If you missed the previous part, do not worry. There will be a link down below. It went up at three in the morning, my time. So it's very possible you missed it. So um, that video includes buying our first car, choosing our character, going in and doing a movie stunt job, which was awesome. Nice. I know a bunch of people haven't Super seen that yet. So make sure you check it out. Link is down below. It's very, very cool. Anyways, um, in case you haven't already noticed, in the description as well, we are doing a giveaway for Forza Horizon 4. In a couple of weeks, when the game officially comes out, we are going to be choosing a winner. You've got two weeks to enter before that. For PC and Xbox One, this copy is available for. So if you'd like to enter, link is down below for that as well. Anyways, uh, we should probably talk about what is going on on screen because there is quite a bit of stuff. Welcome to Alex. Alex is the guy who runs the, the Dirt Racing League in Forza Horizon 4, and it's very, very cool. We will meet another one of these guys a little bit later on okay. in today's video, which is very cool. Right. So uh, make sure you stick all the way to the end. We're also going to be buying our first house in Forza Horizon 4. It's awesome. Anyways, Alex obviously gives you the opportunity to go in and choose your first rally car. You've got some good options there. You've got an old Lancia if you enjoy breaking down. You've also got a Ford Escort if you enjoy breaking down. And you've also got a Subaru Impreza if you enjoy blown engines. And if you're me personally, you got to take the STI because as an ex-Subaru driver, it's just the right thing to do. Gold paint, or gold wheels, blue paint, this is the definition of a proper rally car for me. Anyways, we're jumping in this thing. We are still on the hardest difficulty in the game. And the first thing probably to note is that this game actually feels a little bit different in terms of off-roading. I couldn't put my finger on, say, exactly what is different in this game as compared to Forza Horizon 3. But this game, when you're off-roading, it just feels a little bit tighter. It feels like you can choose your line and you've got, just got a little bit more control over your car and where you're going. It's it's very, very cool. And I like I said, I couldn't put my finger on it. But hopefully when we all get hands-on with this game soon, um, we will be able to sort of pinpoint exactly what is different. Anyways, we are going in and doing some off-road racing and some rally racing. And that begs the question. I know I've spoken about it in some previous videos. But Mitsubishi in Forza Horizon 4. Now Mitsubishi in case you haven't heard just yet, is not going to be in Forza Horizon 4, which is very unfortunate. However, due to... Okay, so so some backstory. Let's back up a little bit. I was invited out by Microsoft to San Francisco to go and record this gameplay. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have been following me around on that trip. It was very, very cool. Um, but that was only a couple of weeks ago. And there was another event like this in the UK where somebody actually spotted a Mitsubishi in Forza Horizon 4. So based on that information, it is clear that Mitsubishi pulled out from Forza Horizon 4 at the very last minute. This was only a couple of weeks ago and somebody spotted Mitsubishi driving, or it was a Mitsubishi Evo 10, I believe, driving around in the game and it's just kind of crappy that they're not in the game. You'll notice that this race in particular is filled up with a bunch of Subarus. I think it's like 10 Subarus or something like that. And then there's like two Fords, I think. Which is, which is cool, and it's great, and there are some very good rally cars in this game, like the Lancia and like the Ford Escort that I was speaking about before, and obviously all the Subarus, but it's, it, it is definitely unfortunate that Mitsubishi isn't going to be in Forza Horizon 4. It's just something we're going to have to deal with and, and get used to, but hopefully at some point in the future, um, they, they decide to rejoin. Anyways, you'll also probably notice that this Subaru is upgraded a little bit. We will speak about that. Uh, once we get into our next race, which is very cool. It becomes very important, but we are going to be coming to the final line here and going and getting our rewards, doing our wheel spin and getting introduced to another character. The wheel spin you're about to see is one of the normal wheel spins in Forza Horizon 4. And here you go. Take a look at it. Feel free to pause at any point to see what the prizes are that you can win. And yes. there you go. First race in the bag. How do you feel? Dirty. 
brilliant. I think you could go far in my dirt racing series. Perform like that again and you might just make it into round two. Looks like you've nearly qualified for the autumn season. And remember, the more driving you do, the more you'll build your influence. Hey, rookie. Fancy winning a prize? Here, have a wheel spin. Hey, I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry, my name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. See you there. So there you go. Welcome to Jay. Jay is another one of our characters in Forza Horizon 4. There are a bunch of them in this game. We've already been introduced to the road racing guy and the dirt racing guy in yesterday's video and earlier today. However, Jasmine or Jay is the guy who runs the street racing stuff and street races are a little bit different. And like I said, we went and did our first uh, wheel spin there. So feel free to take a look at that. That's just a regular wheel spin. There are super wheel spins in the game. The way you can tell the difference is the regular wheel spins is what you're already familiar with. It's just one wheel that spins and you get the prize. However, for the super wheel spins, that will be three different things spinning and you get all three prizes and that's how you can make some serious money in this game. Uh, I know we already have some videos about those. Anyways, you'll also notice that we went and found our first bonus board right there. That is actually one of the 50 fast travel boards in Forza Horizon 4 and at this current time playing in the game, I didn't have fast travel unlocked. So it was a little bit weird, but um, yeah, we're now making some, some discounts as we go through uh, this game already, which is pretty cool. Anyways, we're jumping into our first street race right away, and you can t and see what the cars were racing against. The Subaru, like I said, was upgraded. It's got a different rear wing. It's got the rally lights all over the hood. It's got a different front bumper, and it's actually upgraded to S1 class, and you can see we're going up against some very, very fast stuff. We've got some Aventadors. Uh, there was an LP670 behind. There's a Dodge Viper. There's a GTR up in front. Some rally stuff and an old Bugatti as well, which is really cool. Now, I will say in previous videos and everything you've seen prior to this, that was me playing on the hardest difficulty. However, when I got to this point in the Forza Horizon 4 game, my capture actually crashed, which meant that I lost all of my footage. So I must give a huge shout out to Jeff from Microsoft for going in and recording this gameplay. He even went to the effort of chucking an AR-12 license plate on the car. Like huge thank you to him. Without him, this gameplay would not be possible. So huge thank you to him. I don't know what difficulty he's playing on, but you can see he's absolutely eating up the AI and doing a fantastic job of racing, blitzing it past the GTR and absolutely flying away. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. This is no longer me driving from this point, um, but yeah, it's, it's very, very cool. Without Jeff, none of these would have been possible. So he deserves definitely a shout out at the minimum and, and until he crashed and knocked off the AR-12 license plate, but uh, it is really cool nonetheless. But um, yeah, there are a couple more things that I did want to speak about in today's video. For instance, the root creator in Forza Horizon 4. I have already gone in and I've made a video about the root creator and my worries for it. However, my worries have come to an end because it has been confirmed that the root creator for Forza Horizon 4 has been delayed until after launch. The root creator, as Ralph said, is a truly unique experience and you can truly make it as customizable as you want. And that is causing a lot of problems for the AI in this game. The AI in this game with the custom roots are crashing a lot. And because of that, they've decided to delay the launch of the root creator a little bit later after launch so they can get all of those bugs worked out and make the AI as good as possible. So. Just know the root creator isn't going to be in this game right when the game comes out. Give it maybe a month, maybe a couple months for them to get those bugs worked out. But when that root creator launches, it is definitely going to be worth it. Anyways, after our street race, we jump in to the Audi T TT. Actually, before that, we had another race. However, it's one again that we've already seen before. So I decided to cut it out of this video. And we are going to buy our first house in Forza Horizon 4 today, boys. This is very cool. You'll notice that one of the things you do with houses is you actually get some very, very cool perks, which are awesome. Anyways, as we drive over to here, you got some more free roam gameplay. There's a, there's a beauty spot off to the left up there, and we will get to this house and buy it for zero credits. Now, you'll actually notice one of the cool things. Actually, I'll speak about that in a little bit um, once, once we finish this. But you'll get to this point in the game, maybe like an hour in, maybe like 40 minutes in if you really, really push. But welcome. 
to the Gables. This is our first house in Forza Horizon 4. You're not going to believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set. But when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word, and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Excellent. Well, since this one's on the movie company, here's the keys. This is where your threads are stored. Your wardrobe is like a map of your career. So the more you get yourself out there, the more clothes you'll get in return. A big name needs a big style. So yeah, welcome to our first house in Forza Horizon 4. We're currently customizing our character, which I'll speak about in a second. But you might have noticed that when we bought the house, we actually got given a perk in Forza Horizon 4 that will actually enable drone mode. You might have noticed that earlier in this video and in and in the video that I posted at 3 in the morning, um, you'll, you'll notice that drone mode is actually grayed out. I can't actually use it. And that's because you haven't gone in and purchased the first house. Photo mode is enabled straight from the start of the game. However, drone mode you have to unlock with the purchase of the first house. We already know you need to unlock fast travel the same way and some other perks uh, by doing the same sort of stuff. We don't know exactly what other ones just yet, but stay tuned for that. We've just gone through a bunch of the character customization, everything from the shirts, pants, uh, shoes, gloves, hel uh, helmets, I mean hats, and stuff like that. And we've also got our emotes and they are very, very cool. You've got different emotes, you can actually set two emotes in the game. One for showboat and one for victory before the game, your character will actually do an emote. And then after the race, if they win, they'll do another emote, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so you can actually choose two, and we'll, we'll scroll through some of them here. You got the you got the dab, of course. You know I've been doing it in every video. If you mention the word dab, you got to do it. I'm just saying. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Later today, though, we are going to be posting a video customizing our Ford Focus RS, and I would highly suggest you be on the lookout for that. Make sure you are subscribed, because that video is very very cool you can see the house is used sort of as a mini festival point you can fast travel from here or uh, you can you can customize your car paint them upgrade them everything from here change your character tune um everything you even change your horn and your license plate it's pretty cool anyways that is gonna do it for us today make sure you enter the giveaway links down below i will see you guys later today with that ford focus rs see you guys then bye